Human life is too precious and committing them into the hands of a quack is very wrong. A quack lacks the license to practice as a certified nurse or midwife, thereby making such a person incompetent to carry out basic nursing procedures. A quack lacks professional and ethical conduct to carry out care for those who are sick. Since lives of people are involved, we cannot continue to watch as quackery adds to the further breakdown of our health care system. If you have ever experienced the consequence of being attended to by a quack, you will know why it is important that quackery comes to an end. Now, quackery is a promotion of deceitful and ill-informed medical practice. A quack is a fraudulent or an ignorant person who pretends professionally or publicly to have skills, to have knowledge, qualifications, and credentials that he or she does not possess. Quacks use unscientific pr procedures and practices and deceive clients or patients who don't know their rights or who don't know the right kind of people that they should get care from. A nurse is an individual who has received a formal education, acquired skills, attitudes, knowledge, and has become registered by the Nursing and Midwifery Council to promote health, to restore health, and to rehabilitate individuals, families, communities independently or in collaboration with other members of the health care system. Now, I understand that poverty, greed, illiteracy, Poor supervision of our health institutions, misconceptions about this profession, and poor penalty or punishment for quacks are some of the causes of quackery. This is why I use this medium. This is why we all use this medium to reach out to the public, to the government, and to other governing bodies to help us provide lasting solutions to this problem. National policies should be formulated in line with state and local governments to reduce quackery and promote professionalism. Laws prohibiting quackery should be put in place with tough punishment for those that violate them. Nursing education in federal and state schools of nursing should be subsidized in order to make it affordable for those that have passion for this profession but are not financially buoyant to acquire it. Hospital owners should stop training quacks and employing them to care for their patients. Government and other organizations can support student nurses with scholarship schemes to encourage students who are brilliant but less privileged. Together, we can ensure some sanity in our healthcare system. I am Adesua Oni. I'm a registered nurse and I'm a registered midwife. Thank you for listening to me. Quackery must come to an end in Nigeria. We say no to quackery. <laughs>